What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I just watched the latest upload, I watched it for a few minutes, and I noticed that I had no energy on the introduction. So welcome back to Streetcar Shenanigans YouTube channel. Today I am showing you a couple of the badass mod motor builds that are going on in the shop right now, and one that is not badass whatsoever. Um, I haven't really done much to it, and Dan and Steve are, uh, I can hear them laughing at me already, but we got the Shipbox Coyote almost back together. So thanks to the Siborowski family, they had a coyote that they were getting rid of. So this old rust bucket is almost back on the road and out of our lives. Anything worthy of mentioning? No, not at all. The whole car is hardly worth mentioning. But I wanted to show you what's getting worked on in the background over here. But on the other side of the shop, we have the race cars that we spent a lot of time with last year so these are going to look familiar to you guys on the channel if you have not seen these cars before obviously go back check out the channel subscribe and make sure you look at the other videos of both of these cars racing quite a bit last year Um, they are beautiful. Uh, one of them is constructed really, really well. One of them was constructed really, really poorly. Both of them were a really good time. Both the guys who own it are really awesome. So we're happy to have them in the same shop together currently. Uh, let's, let's, I don't know how I want to do this. So these are, uh, and, and that one too you guys have seen. We uncovered it just for this video because this is the hate money racing right here. Mod motor race guys. So the S197 is looking awesome. Uh, I don't know if you guys have had the, uh, seen the front end on it yet. This isn't even really on, but it's kind of on there enough. You can tell that it, that it works. The headlight mounts are done. Everything is on here. I have one more thing to add still for the hood, which you guys saw in the last video. The motor plates have been fully filled in. They're welded all the way around the backside and up the middle. And, Sanded to look like one piece, so when they're painted, they're gonna look good. The rears are done, K members in, racks in. Uh, we finally got the front struts, they're not in yet, but we do have them. So, and then we had to move the firewall. Uh, that's not really technically the firewall, but we had to move some of that out of the way for the intake manifold to sit in there and for the fuel rails to run. And now it's easier to get down behind it by having all that open. So that made it a little bit nicer to work on for transmission bolts, things like that. Uh, and then we washed it. So it actually looks pretty nice sitting here. I, w I was going to be done grinding on it for a little while uh, as far as with a grinder. So decided to give it a bath and get all the dust off of it and get a little bit of a reset going. And then we put baby in the corner because the other S197 that we love so much is here. And we have to get the motor out of this thing and down to Rich. Uh, in order for this to have a chance of making it this season. So uh, this one is a 5.4. It's a steel block or cast iron block 5.4 from MMR. It has their crank, rods, and pistons in it. Uh, but we really want to max out this 98 millimeter precision this year. And we don't really trust that that setup is going to make what this turbo can make. And it would be nice to lose 100 pounds off of it because this thing is a freaking pig. Uh, comment down below. I'll show you guys at the end of this video. But comment down below what you think this car weighs as it sits right now there's uh maybe five gallons of fuel in it he's got his racing helmet and jacket but otherwise that's everything it's pretty much full interior it has a 25.3 chick cage nine inch all the heavy stuff all right so uh the project for the rest of the day is going to be getting this thing out of here and on an engine stand uh, so we could tear it down, make sure it's all uh, what's good, what's going to be sold, and then start cleaning up the engine bay. I think it needs some paint work down here he was talking about, so we might address that while it's out. Uh, I know we want to get some things powder coated. We want to get the cover powdered, maybe get the cover and the valve covers, timing cover and the valve covers done the same, so that all looks the same. We're going to get the intake repolished. We'll get the bu bypass valves repolished. We had to do something about this and this. So a little bit of aesthetic work that will happen as well as getting a really, really sweet billet crankshaft, RGR, sleeved 5.4 in this thing for next year. Uh, I have to make some phone calls on it still. We have to call Precision, talk about turbo setup, uh, get some recommendations because it says a two and a half inch hot side. Uh, so I want to make sure that that's not going to hold us back. And if it is, it's going to turn into a header project again. So I hope that it'll be fine. 
Uh, I also want to dig into what some of the faster S197 guys are doing with motor mounts because obviously we plan on making some really good steam with the three valve and we decided to plate it. This still has motor mounts and that's probably going to end up making a little bit more horsepower than the three valve. Although they're both set up pretty similar, the 5.4 is just a little bit more, uh, it's a little bit more robust as far as a platform goes and it's a little bit more reliable above the 2,000 horsepower number that we're going to be shooting for with the GT500 this year. Uh, the three valves looking good though, turbo headers are on it. We took the timing cover to go get it re-powder coated uh, and then we'll finally be able to put all the gaskets and seals on it and this can really go in there. It probably won't stay in there, it'll probably come apart again, but at least you can get bolted in and a lot of final fab and assembly will start to happen with that thing. Uh, but there's your update there. Start taking off some of the BS and draining the fluids on this car. Uh, we're going to try to get the red one to the point where it's running and this one to the point where the bat body can leave uh, by the end of the day today. So a lot of work to do. Keep you guys in the loop. I guess it wouldn't be right to show you guys us tearing apart a badass car without showing you what it sounds like currently. So, uh oh. I'm probably not going to be able to do that because the battery was on all night. So she's probably dead. Oh yeah. We'll get lucky here. Maybe. Now these cars are going to get a handful of changes that are going to be similar as far as uh, sensor additions. Uh, I guess that's the biggest thing. Both of them are going to get some sensors added that we want to be able to monitor on both of them this year. And then, other than that, that's about it. I really want to get a better handle on the fuel tech with this car this year. Uh, you guys might have saw in that video, it was just idling like 11.7 to 1 air fuel ratio with no O2 correction. It's really, really sensitive in the VE table on the fuel tech with this size injector. So I really struggled with trying to get that thing to start like that. And when we try to start it in the cold, it's not that happy. It was pretty close, but not that happy. Uh, now it has enough when it's in this type of temperature that it started right off like that. Uh, and takes throttle input, which it wouldn't do before until it was at full temp. So between that, some charging issues, and then some miscellaneous other sensors that we gotta make sure work. Uh, there's a little bit of wiring to do on this, but for the most part, it's really just gonna be making the power plant a little bit more badass. All right, let's get to getting it out. All right, guys, sorry for the short episode on the 5.4. Um, just to give you an update, it's out of the car. I shaved my beard, and here it is. It does have ported heads, pretty monstrous. Um, after looking at it, it might have stock valves in it still. So they're going to be coming out. If you notice, that this one has a really oily breather and oil and nothing with an actuator that was never plugged in. So this side never vented anything. So we will be welding bungs onto there, 
and getting the valve covers repowder coated, probably getting the timing cover powder coated. Uh, maybe even switch the timing cover to a navigator because it won't have all this blower stuff on it if we can find a new one. And uh, yeah, hopefully we don't have any turbo problems with the hot side. We're still working on that. The majority of the work that's left on the 5.4 is getting the motor to rich and two, leg work to make sure that the rest of the combination is going to be able to handle it. It has precision 220 injectors, so on gasoline fuel, we should be all right. It has the VR2 Holly brushless fuel pump, should be all right. Uh, I don't know if half inch fuel lines will become a limitation, so I gotta look into that. And if the injectors are a problem, we're gonna switch it to 16 injectors, and we're only gonna add a small set, because uh, it has the blanks for it. So we'll have the 220s as when it comes into boost, and then we'll tune it on a small set, you know, maybe add like a set of 80s, so it'll, it can still use both of them, but we can drive it on the 80s, make it a lot easier to tune this thing. Uh, all right, so that wraps up the 5.4 project. You guys see it's out of the car. The car is going to go back into Zani's garage, and uh, there'll be a lot of work that we do to it when it comes back. We had to make minimal modifications to the hot side, a lot of dress-up changes, and then obviously assemble the motor and put that in. So you guys, make sure you subscribe. You guys will see all of that stuff, and we know that if you're watching this, there's an 82% chance that you are not subscribed to the channel. So please, please hit the subscribe, click the bell, get the notifications. 2022 is our YouTube year. So uh, click the button and let's move on to the next video uh, that you guys will see on Monday or Thursday. We release Mondays and Thursdays. So whatever today is, the next one you'll see more updates on the projects. Wanna close that one? Sit. Huh? Huh? Okay, okay. Close enough.